Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about average speed, velocity, and instantaneous speed and velocity. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 6. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. Objectives by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to define the concept of average speed and average velocity. The second one is to apply the formulas for average speed, average velocity, instantaneous speed, and instantaneous velocity to solve the practical problems. And the third one is to develop an appreciation for the importance of understanding the concepts related related to the speed and velocity in everyday life by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will answer the true or false activity. In planning a trip by car, the driver often wants to know how long it will take to cover a certain distance. The car will certainly not travel at the same speed during the trip. The driver cares only about the average speed for the trip as a whole. Average speed can be calculated rather easily. For example, if we drive a distance of 60 kilometers during a time of one hour, we can say our average speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Or if we travel 240 kilometers in four hours. So this is the formula for the average speed is equal to total distance divided by the total elapsed time. Average velocity is the ratio of the displacement and total elapsed time. For example, if we drive a distance of 60 kilometers east during a time of 1 hour, we can say our average speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Or if we travel 240 kilometers east in 4 hours. If the car returned to its initial position, traveling 240 meter west, the displacement becomes zero. Thus, the average velocity is also zero. For example, a runner does one lap around a 200 meter track in a time of 25 seconds. What was the runner's average speed? The given in the problem is the total distance, which is 200 meters, and total time, which is 25 seconds. The required to solve in the problem is the average speed. So, for the formula of average speed is equal to total distance divided by the total time. Average speed is equal to 200 meter divided by 25 seconds. So the average speed is 8 meter per second. 
Now, let us proceed to instantaneous speed. So, we know that the average speed for the given time interval is the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken. As this time interval approaches zero, the distance traveled also approaches zero. But the limit of the ratio of distance and time is non-zero and it is called the instantaneous speed. The instantaneous speed formula is given by speed is equal to distance divided by the time. So the unit of instantaneous speed is the SI unit. It is a scalar quantity. And instantaneous velocity can be linear velocity or angular velocity. Instantaneous velocity is defined as the rate of change of position for time interval which is very small and almost zero. It is measured using the SI unit which is the meter per second. Instantaneous speed is the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity. It has the same value as that of the instantaneous velocity but does not have any direction. The following is the instantaneous velocity formula. So VI, that stands for instantaneous velocity. T stands for the small time interval. S stands for the displacement. And T stands for the time. The unit of instantaneous velocity is the SI unit, which is the meter per second. So it is a vector quantity and it is also be determined by taking the slope of the distance, time graph, or the x.